guys so back here with the sedan um, like I was talking before previously we've been having some issues with the TPS sensor it's hit like a dead spot in voltage sorry for all the background noise I am uh, at home in my apartment which I don't even have you know all my tools together right now so this is what I'm working with all right so you come in here you loosen these two there's one screw here and another screw underneath right here. Um, on an OEM unit, you would have shear bolts instead of the Allen head bolts. And the shear bolts will, um, you'd have to either tap or screw them out, like drill them out, or you could put a dash in the middle and make them a flathead to remove them, which I'll, I'll go ahead and put that in here right here. several different ways to remove the uh, shear head bolts but mine are this has already been replaced so it's serviceable and it's just two four millimeter allen head nuts so i'm gonna go ahead and pull that guy off put the new one on and then i'll pick back up with you guys all right old sensor out nothing visually wrong with it but i know i've been having an issue with it new sensor new gasket new hardware the whole deal you see how these prongs are right that aligns back in here I can't get the camera quite in there but there's a little bracket that this it has to go on one way if you don't get it on the proper way it will not calibrate properly and you'll have all kinds of issues so make sure that when you pull it off remember you know how it went on clip it in to the clips properly and screw it down the hardest part is calibrating them luckily for me I have Honda data so it's really easy I'll pick back up with you guys inside the car What is up, you guys? So, I am not at the apartment any longer. I'm over at my dad's place. OGs will know. Uh, I did replace the TPS, and I already calibrated it and drove it over here. Just wanted to make sure everything was perfect for you guys before I went ahead and, uh, you know, finished up this video. So, this is just a kind of a quick video. I want to go over it. So, after you've gotten that bolted in, and you're, you know that that center prong is you know made it up into the you'll see it's like an insert inside of the um, throttle body on the back side for the TPS sensor it's a little like two prong thing that your one prong goes into right and you'll know if you got it wrong trust me so for us with Honda to come back into the car open up the laptop Alright, so I had to restart my laptop. It was kind of tripping out. So closed. It is uh, at minus 36%, which is pretty, it's roughly in the right area. About, about, uh, I think I, I had it previously at 0 0.46, and it was perfect. And then fully open, throttle plate wide open, 107. So I think you're tolerable there to about 110 and if you're going to be adjusting this, what you would do is come in here while the throttle plate is closed, completely closed. 
and hit read, right? And adjust that plate until it's right. You can come back in here, and then you'd push full throttle, get your read proper, come back closed. And it's going to change just a tidbit here and there. But that's probably going to be due to your like throttle cable or your throttle plate might be just kind of binding just a tidbit. But it's okay as long as you're within this tolerance. You don't want that to say plus one or plus seven or something to where you have advanced throttle. And then you're getting not 100% throttle up top on, on your uh, TPS reading. So then we can come in here. And we will go to display, and that's going to pull up all of what I got pulled up for this car, what I need. And it shows that our TPS is 0, 100, 0, 100, 0. Right? So this is how I do it. It's very simple. I think you can scale them differently. I think there's a couple different uh, methods of doing it. This always seems to work for me. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a name after this so I can save that file. I'll probably put like dad because this is the dad mobile. I'll put dad1484. It's a random number. Save that. That way I know what it is. So what we're doing here is we're trying to get this sedan in proper running shape and get it washed up, get it cleaned get everything set to where we need it to be because we're going to be going to Springfest. So on the 24th or 28th of March, we're going to be taking the car down and actually putting it in the show because it's the only way you can even be a part of it. There is no spectators, but you guys could get tickets and go into the show as well with whatever car you have. That way you can spectate. It's kind of the way of getting around it. But, you know, if you have something cool and you want to come show it off, come hang out with us, maybe get some merch in person, whatever, see the cars in person, that would be the date. Um, this car has a long journey to go for me to do that. That's about five hours round trip for me um, from driving it from my house to the event. So we want to make sure this thing is titties, dude. We want it to be perfect. We don't want to have any issues. Of course, we're going to bring spare parts and a tool bag and all that and try to figure it out. But, you know, driving anything, especially a modified car, five hours can be kind of rough on stuff. So... You can see that the engine bay is not perfect by any means. She's very, very dirty. I've been driving it and abusing it and haven't cleaned it up. So we're going to be taking care of all that and getting it ready for the show. I also have, I don't even want to show this because it's so horrible, but the clear coat fade on the hood, is it's bad. And because the roads are so salted where I live, it's just eating it alive. So I'm going to try to put some color back on that just to hide it. I mean, you know, the, the hood itself is straight, so you can't even be mad. This car does need to be repainted. It needs a lot of body work. It's not perfect by any means, but it's my daily, and I love it. Plus, to get the EL front on it, which is just rare, and to see it color matching and everything. Like, I didn't paint none of this. This is all stock paint, and uh, cars, it's came a long ways. There's a lot going on in the interior, you know, that I, I don't really want to show the car super dirty inside and out. So we need to go through and thoroughly detail it before we show up to this event. And um, just for proof for you guys. That is the drive that I will be making. That's one way. And that's give or take. You know, you got to stop get fuel. And if anything happens, you know god forbid the car breaks something whatever we want to make sure it's right so that's why we're going through and touching up all these little things i'm also going to do a full tune-up on it and oil change all that stuff but i'm going to quit rambling this is just a quick video on how to calibrate your tps through Honda data um, i'm sure it works through several other ecus you know uh, standalones and everything the same way so hopefully you found this useful if you were kind of sitting there stumped i don't know i remember the first time i was doing it I couldn't get it right, couldn't get it right. 
I looked up a video and found it. So hopefully this helped you guys. If you like the video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.